Hey guys, Trace here. Um, I know it's been a good month since I recorded, <clears throat> but uh, I had to collect all those coins individually to buy stuff. Plus there was personal life stuff going on. So, uh, I also had a video going through the different treasures we could get on Fawa Fawa with uh, the power sword, but unfortunately I just got hit by a cactus. And also unfortunately, um, that video kind of got lost. So, now we have a few new goodies in our arsenal. The first of which is the Light Sword, which is the world's finest blade. Uh, it actually has about twice the attack power of the most powerful power sword. Um, definitely the way to go in the game. The downside, of course, is how much it costs, which is, uh, I think the exact figure is <clears throat> something like a lot. Uh, and then the boomerang, which is returning punishment. I don't like the idea of punishment returning to me, but whatever. We also got light armor, which works well anywhere, thank goodness. And the light shield, which vaporizes most flying objects. When I was younger, I thought this included flying enemies, so I would jump into flying enemies and be very disappointed when they did not instantly vaporize on contact. So, now we're on to the final boss who has like six forms, so he'll take a little while. That's where we fought the eagle, but we're not worried about him. See, the light sword can take out those guys in one hit. That's nice. Um, here's where we're going. I gotta show this off in the last video. It's been so long since I recorded that, so... <laughs> beats me. And we're going to use our little sky bell here to fly to the sky. And away we go to the final confrontation. Check out those flying effects or <clears throat> orbital jump effects, I don't know. So here is our pal, the final boss. Like many enemies in video games, the best way to approach this one is just to hit away, whack away, fast as you can. He's got this little fire shield going on. He also shoots those. Once this shield gets out to a certain distance, you want to wait a minute, like probably a little longer than that, before you can move back in and start attacking. Now he separates, and you have to take out his body and his head separately. We can't do anything right now, so that's why I wasn't hitting. When the little eyeball comes up on his dress there, um, we can start hitting and enjoying the really funny hitting sound. And it fights in the same way as he did before, so that's not much to worry about. And now he's going to start diving like this, and there's a quick easy and cheap way to do this, much like most of your mothers. <coughs> what? Um, and that is to abuse the down jab as much as you can. <laughs> and that takes care of that. And now we go to Creepy Scorpion Final Boss, which somehow happens on the moon. I don't know. I just go along with it. Not my game. That used to freak me out until I realized it did that no matter where you were. <laughs> so here, we get to take out his claws, because he is a one-eyed scorpion. Uh, and that's really all he does in the way of attacks, right there. He'll come down occasionally, and he'll shoot those fireballs. Which, the easiest way to avoid those is to get kind of to the other side from where that claw is. So I'm gonna... Yeah, this isn't going so well. <laughs> this is really not going so well. I would say I don't normally do this poorly, this boss, but I kind of do. Uh, this is... This used to be one of the hardest video game bosses for me, like, ever. But I figured out a quicker way to take care of him. So this is really all you do. Run back and forth, hitting the claws, and just be prepared to dodge them fireballs or energy balls, whatever those are. When the time is right, we are going to cure up. There we go. Can't use that while you're invincible, so. Whee! Oh, that almost worked out. Oh. And as you do enough damage to his claws, they fall off in a grotesque manner. This is easier now. Oh, nope, never mind. I was going to say it's easier because you can stay on one side of him, but he kind of follows you as you move around the screen. 
Hey, 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 that's cheating now. And for this final part, he's gonna get down and run around on the ground. The easiest way to take care of this is with the boomerang. The boomerang, um, it's roughly equivalent to the, uh, crystal sword, I think, of power. Gotta enjoy the, hey, Mr. Scorpion's getting hit, so why not have the background blink white? effects. Only problem is they call this whole fight causes massive slowdown, even if you're playing it on a Super Nintendo. This is much easier than trying to hit him with a sword, as you might be able to imagine. And with that, we have beaten Super Adventure Island 2. Finally. <laughs> and we fall rather ungracefully from the sky. Now let's sit back and enjoy the ending. Higgins, you sly dog! Oh, nothing. You just got kidnapped by a scorpion wizard looking jerk. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey now, hey, hey now, I just rescued you. <laughs> who are you, who are you calling chubby? <laughs> Who's talking? I don't know. That's true, that wizard also kidnapped the king. Who knows what happened to him? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Escape to where? You were in the- you were on the moon! <laughs> Take that, uglies. Take that. Don't say a word about doing me right, king. Please. There were like two people on the islands, the king and the innkeeper. Oh, I was gonna if you had said quite the lay, I was gonna oh, I was gonna be pissed off. Gosh, that's just swell. <laughs> Doll. even come from. Yes, because you're less vulnerable to storms when you're in a balloon. Very true. <laughs> Stop it. That's not cool. Let's do it indeed. But really, Stop with the insults, Tina! I just saved you! And now we have the credits. Well, Tina and Master Higgins float away in a blimp or a balloon or something. It must be cold up there. Higgins should at least be wearing his light armor that I went through all the trouble of buying. Thanks, D-Dart. That's too cliche to make fun of names in the credits, but I will. Um, yeah, maybe it's not that cold up there anyway. Although, the one time I ever went parasailing, it was pretty cold up there. I'm not really an adventure kind of person. That's neither here nor there, though. Sound Creators. That's a cool title. Hey, what did you do? Oh, I was the sound creator for this game. Whichever one of you advisors decided to make our romantic interest call me a romantic slob. 
You, sir, deserve a raise. Fun fact, because I just happened to be staring at someone's signature and noticing this. Did you know that anatidiphobia is the, quote, the fear that somewhere, somehow, a duck is watching you? I suffer from that every day, personally. I have to say, in a game of good music, this credits music is kind of a letdown. The translation in this game wasn't half bad, I have to say, especially for this era of a game, you know. Anyway, I think that's about all the time we have, and I'm not sure how much long the credit, longer the credits will roll, so, uh, see y'all next time.